Oh, hmm. this is yeah. very interesting. Hey guys, so a bit of a different one from us today. I'm doing an, unbox, an unboxing of one of these My Heritage DNA kits. Now, the reason, <laughs> Aston has pretend glasses on. The reason we're doing this is because Clint has been wanting one of these for ages and ages. He's been dying to get one of these. And quite frankly, we all want to know what's behind the legend that is Clint. Now, they're normally a couple of hundred dollars, but I got this in the Black Friday sales. It was 60 something dollars. Turns out that was actually US. Oh, I ended up paying I think it was $83. But anyway, so that was that was my Christmas present for Clint, but he insists that I do the unboxings. Apparently I'm just the camera person, I don't know. Now just out of interest, if you are female wanting to do one of these, or this is what I read anyway, I can't guarantee it's 100% correct, but this, this is what I read, that um, if you have brothers, which I do, it's actually better to get one of your brothers to do it because, and one of my brothers actually did do it. So I've, I've had mine done, which is kind of cool. Apparently, if you're a male, they can look at both sides of your fam family, your mum and your dad's side. Whereas with females, they can only track the maternal side, being your mother's side of the family. Find out what so, your ancestors are or something. Well, not who they are, but it's it's like a bloodline thing, isn't it, Aura? It tells you. It tests you. It's kind of flashed the way that opens. I'm going to open this up and see what is inside. DNA kit. Activation reminder. You have to activate your kit before sending back your sample. Okay, so we have to keep that card and register it online. instructions. For best results, please do not eat, drink, chew gum or smoke. No smoking love. For 30 minutes, he doesn't smoke, <laughs> before collecting your DNA sample. Open the test kit and lay out the unopened swabs. Swabs? Swabs. Biohazard. Right. So what are the swabs? I guess these are the swabs. And, ooh, and some little little liquid vials. Oh, these must be the swabs. Yeah, swabs. I'm guessing so. Lay out the unopened swabs and vials on a clean surface. This is the vials. Clean, but it's as clean as we get in this house. <laughs> Remove one cheek swab from its wrapper and use the swab head to scrape the inside of one of your cheeks while rotating the swab for 30 to 60 seconds. Oh god, that's a long time. And insert the swab inside, swab end down. Once the swab touches the bottom of the vial, break the swab against the inside edge of the vial at the black marked line. Oh yeah, okay. Leaving the swab end inside the liquid in the vial. Close the cap. Oh yeah. Good show. The dad can do this on camera and sort of for us. How come you um, Because you have to do one, one cheek, one on the other cheek. One of them does your father's side and one of them does your mother's side of the family. It does, yeah. I'm a nasty mother. <laughs> but you're a sarcastic mother. I oh, am. Yeah. One, one Right. That was a long 60 seconds. That was long. <laughs> that was short, really. Well, it literally lasted for 60 seconds. Right. So I pop that in the liquid. Break well, it off. Add that black. Click. Got it. Does that go One in? vial. Does that then go in the bag, does it? In the biohazard bag. I'm not sure what the bio. I'm assuming it does. And then we're sending it to Houston, Texas. Oh, yeah, Texas. so it's a little cotton pocket thing, so we pop them both in there. Boys 1, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1040, 1041, 
Crick. Snip. Crick. Now what can we use this really snazzy oh, box for? I know, that's what I was thinking, that's a cool that box. That is a very cool box. It feels like you should use it for like a magic trick or something. I know, it oh, does. You got the... Boy slobber generally is a hazard. I avoided oh. getting it over me this morning, but I got it all over me. He was spitting all over it. That's a spat all over the place. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's put this biohazard in there. Maybe it's the... Yeah, Boy slobber and, and, and probably stuff. if it's if it was a girl doing the kit, they probably wouldn't mm. label it as a biohazard. Oh, it's not free post. We have to put a stamp on it. Yeah, well, for what we paid on, I thought we would have had to. We would have got free posting with it. Reckon, expect results on my heritage in four to six weeks. So I think they they email you something. So I will let you see what you get for your moolah. And um, I'll show you guys my results as well, just out of interest. Right, the results are in. We get to find out where Flint in all his glory comes from. My Heritage DNA, they send you all the results online. So, Clinton, ready to explore your ethnicity. Click on Let's Go. Right. Oh. I There's didn't. a soundtrack. Oh yeah, with 91% English. Well, I'm Viking. 5.4% Scandinavian. 3% French. North and West European. 3%. The part French, love. Okay. Is that it? That's it. I'm pretty disappointed. I'd say that's 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 it. Pretty much what you get. Well, that was a bit of a. Uh, <laughs> bit of I, a dead to loss. be honest, I'll, that's that's kind of all I was expecting. Cause mm -hmm. no, that's that's it. There's not there's nothing shocking in there. I was hoping for a bit of Nigerian, a bit of Chinese, you know, <laughs> something out there. Close family members. These DNA matches are likely to be immediate family through first cousins. Who's that? I've got no idea. Patricia Russell. She's in her 80s. Oh, that's ah, Wally. Wally. We know that name. So it looks like you, you can click on a health tab and you know, you can find out your genetic risks and all that sort of stuff, but you've got to pay an extra $95 for that. Over 5,000 potential distant relatives. <laughs> Oh, mm. this is yeah. very interesting. Potential DNA matches in the USA. Which is, which is really interesting because... 780 um, in Great Britain. Because um, one of my great grandfathers apparently was potentially a... Uh, this is from my uncle Fred told me. Uh, was a refugee from the American Civil War. And half of my cousins and matches, 2,606, are from the United States. Ah, so while none of your DNA is actually from the USA, you've got a lot of rallies that actually live there. Yeah, yeah, yeah which, which, is, which is really interesting. Or potential relatives. My great-great-grandfather left um, America because the North went through and killed his parents, his brothers, his sisters, and his children even. The North just killed everyone, and so he just, well, rightfully so, packed us sad and uh, moved to um, New Zealand because there was no one left alive, and there must have been because there's 2,606 of them there. Oh, that lines up too, third to fifth cousin. Connie Jones, in his 70s. Yeah. You can see how they could sucker people in though, into paying bit more, bit more. Oh, what's my genetic traits? Pay a little bit more to find this out. I've seen other ones where you're 91% um, English. So then you click on that and it says you are 45% Eng uh, was it Northern English, 32% Southern English, and like my one 5% did. Scottish. Oh, did you want to do that, did it? Yeah, the one my, my brother did. Yeah. Yeah, no, as well, this is just very very generalised. Very generalised, which is not really what I was sort of expecting. 
now just just for a bit of fun we'll show you what my one was he got an initial one and then a couple of months later he actually got an updated one which which had been altered very slightly with more precise results so it initially said i was one percent french but apparently i'm not england wales and northwestern europe 85 percent which includes yorkshire and east midlands england west yorkshire and southern north yorkshire yeah we already knew that though refer to my yorkshire pudding recipe <laughs> north northwest england and the isle of man devon and cornwall devon then i'm nine percent island and scotland one percent I'm 1% Swedish. No, you're 5% Swedish. Sorry, I'm 5% Swedish and I'm 1% European Jewish. But that, that's actually a much better result, isn't it? I mean, it says, you know, pro, primarily located in Belgium, Chatham Islands, England, Wales, Ireland and Scotland, primarily located in Ireland, Isle of Man, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Sweden, primarily located in Sweden. European Jewish part, primarily located in Poland, Belarus, Ukraine, Russia, Hungary, Hungary, Israel. Yeah, which is a bit cooler than the My Heritage. That, that's a little bit more detailed than My yeah, Heritage. That, that, that's all I was expecting. There, there, there was still nothing shocking there, though. You know, mm. we wanted to be shocked. Yeah. We wanted, we wanted to put a thumbnail on this video with one of those going, oh, you know how they do. You know how they do on that. I could use that shot for the thumbnail. <gasps> so now you know. That's that's what you get for what you pay for. I, I think just so you know, my one, my one was one of those cheapy deals as well that my brother got. So um, yeah, there we go. Now you know where we're from. Sorry, nothing shocking. Right. <laughs> cool. Catch you. Bye. <laughs>